my name is Tony Snelson from Infant and Family Nutrition Agency. IFNA is a non-profit organization here in Brownsville. What we do is uh, nutrition education uh, classes. We teach people how to eat healthy. I like to teach the people more about the body, how the body works, and what organs are very important to take care of, like what the liver does, what the pancreas does, what the, how long is the intestine, why it's very important to drink water. If they know why we need to take care of our body, I think people People get the hint. It's hard for everybody to change eating habits. It's very hard. Somebody told me that it's harder to change uh, eating habits than to change a cities or even religion because it's got attached so deeply to yourself the way you are that it is very hard. But it's not impossible. In, in little steps, I know you want to lose 50 pounds, but you know what? Make goals that you can achieve in one month. You can lose two, three pounds, that's fine. 80% of your weight that you're gonna lose are gonna come from the food and 20% from your physical activity. And we think doing a lot of exercise and keep eating the way I'm eating is gonna be okay. It needs to be both. The first month, don't be too hard with yourself, okay? Start with the eating habits and start doing a little bit of physical activity like walking, 30 minutes. Don't start doing both things very aggressive, like I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be in the gym like a one hour and then I'm not gonna have any sugar. You know what? You're gonna fail. So I suggest the participant of the challenge, you know what? Start cutting carbs and start just walking a little bit. In a month, you are gonna have a boost of energy because you are having uh, your energy coming from fruit, vegetables, more whole grains, then you can do a little bit more. We have trained our palate to very sweet or very salty. And healthy food are in the middle. Got not too much salt, not too much sugar. So people say, mm, didn't taste good. So I think it's time to to adequate again our palate, our sense of the flavors to a more mild, mild flavor. We do this activity in the, in the class. Uh, we have uh, different kind of uh, products, products that are really you no know, strange for everybody. Gummy worms, uh, chocolate chips, uh, regular soda, Hershey's, uh, and uh, that we, uh, I make that students to find out by themselves and count fat and sugars. The total of fat and sugars in those products, regular soda, got 65 grams of sugar. So be aware, read the label, 50 grams of sugar. This is the recommendation of the health department. Just one soda, 20 ounces of soda, you are passing the recommendation just with one product. You want to read the nutrition labels. Got a lot of information. Number one, serving size. It can be a cup, it can be three pieces, and the nutrition information are from those three pieces, not the whole package. The other important, okay, calories is very important, of course. It's very important the calories, but most important is if those calories come from fat, or sugars. I recommend to start using little plates, not the big ones. We tend to feel if the plate is too big, we would like to fill the plate with a lot of food. Use a medium sized plate. If you know you're gonna have a really busy day, get prepared. Grab a, a Ziploc bag, put some nuts, something that you don't need to put it in the fridge so you are not gonna be starving and just with the urgent to grab that kind of food. The other one is, okay, we can avoid it. We are hungry and I want to have a sandwich uh, or, or burger or taco. You know what? Take it, but be aware that that day you are putting like a probably 600 calories extras, but try to eat healthy the next time, which means for dinner, try to have a salad or something simple. So you are not going to overeat too much that day. The most important thing is try to have something in your stomach so you don't feel the urgent to grab a candy or chip or cookie.